Hi friends, today I am going to talk about the first identity that appears in the second chapter of the first book of the Paramahijan. The identity states that 1 upon n plus 1 plus 1 upon n plus total 1 upon n plus 1 is equal to n upon 2 n plus 1 plus 1 upon 2 q minus 2 plus 1 upon 4 q minus 4 after 1 upon 2 n q minus 2 n. Now this identity over here can be rewritten concisely using the summation notation like this. In order to solve this identity, what Ramanujan does is he decomposes this particular expression into partial fractions. Okay, so we will do that. Now, 1 upon 2 3, q minus 2 q can be written as q square minus 1, which is nothing but equal to q two. Now the composition case into partial fractions. One upon two k into two k minus one two k plus one. This is equal to let us suppose one upon two k plus b upon two k minus one plus c upon two k plus one. Now the aim over here is to find the values of a, b, and c. In order to do that, let us first multiply both sides with the denominator. So this gives us a into two k minus one into two k plus one plus two k into two k plus into two k minus one plus two k plus one. To find a, b, and c. Let us first put set k equal to 0. This would give us k equal to minus 1 into 1 plus 0 plus 0 equals to 1, which implies k is equal to minus 1. Now, similarly, put for finding b, let us assume k is equal to half. So, this is equal to 0 plus b into 1 into. Similarly for C, let us assume k is equal to minus half. So this will give us 0 plus 0 plus C into minus 1 into if I put minus 1 for k in this expression we get minus 2 is equal to 1 into plus C is equal to half. Right. So now I have now the values of A, B, and C. I'm substituting for A, B, and C in this particular expression. This gives us now this would give us one upon two k into two k minus one. This can be done as 1 upon 2k plus 1 2k minus 1 2k minus 1 upon 2k So now we have the we have broken down this particular expression into its partial fractions. Now substituting these partial fractions into this expression, we'll get the right we'll get the right hand side as equal to side becomes n upon n plus one plus one upon two.
So now let us take this as a base expression and try to evaluate this further in order to arrive at the result. I'll just reshuffle these. 1 upon 2, 2 1 plus 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 3 to minus 1, right? Plus 1 upon 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 4 to minus 1 plus 1. Now I'll add half and subtract half for this expression, I'll tell you why. Plus Now I'll pair up this particular half with this particular expression over here. I'll just pair them up. And I'll take 1 upon 2n plus 1 outside the bracket. And this would lead us to the result with 1 upon 1 plus 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 
the bond point is still not sure where the bond point is. Right. So finally, these two cancel, one point three cancel out with one point three, and so on. Then I'm left with an expression that is equal to the left 